Hey guys, hope you're all well. And yep, yeah, it's almost Christmas. So as you can see, the tree is here. Me and Sam put that up recently. And I've got my Christmas jumper on. I've got Christmas socks on. I'm just, I'm feeling really festive. It's only the beginning of December, of course, but you know, almost Christmas. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoy this Christmassy intro with all of this. The title of this video, as you can see, is about some of my A-level artwork and it's going to be the start of a series I'm doing um, showcasing all of my A-level artwork um, when I took fine art and all of my A-level photography work. And I have this book here, this was my very first one from A-level and it is, uh, yeah, from AS, my Unit 1 AS coursework book so this is where it will begin but yeah this is the start of my new series and I hope you enjoy so let's get into the video okay and here we have my unit one coursework book from AS so that was from my first year of A-levels back in 2015 here it is so let's open it I do apologize in advance a lot of stuff is missing from here because I've either taken it out um, reused it it's somewhere else so yeah there are patches where it's kind of empty, but here it is. So, on the first page, this was done before I even started at college. So, we were moving over that summer in 2015. Um, so, I was still in Yorkshire when I made this, which is really weird to think about. But yeah, we were given like summer, like summer homework to do before starting the course. Um, in year 12. I chose this artist called Lisa Milroy and this is a big research page and I really liked like the black um, outlines of things. I love the records like I'm a big fan of vinyl so that's really cool and oh look at that the page has come out. Great. I look after my stuff so well and yeah then I did some photography for it. So yeah these were some supporting photographs to the work and see I've tried to do a reproduction with CDs there from the vinyl so I think I was taking it more into the modern world with my own possessions. I did a drawing of some kitchen scissors with oil pastels and it represents Milroy's definitive factor of her work being of items around the home so I was obviously trying to capture that in my own um, kind of way and that is this is all A3 by the way. Oh wait I'm missing something I did actually do a reproduction of that vinyl piece, but that is currently on my wall, so I'll show it you at some point. And I did something else as well, but I've obviously torn it out because it's not there, like so much is missing. And this was the very first thing I ever did at college, so this was in my very first art lesson. We had to do a direct observational drawing in pencil of some poppy seeds, um, and then we also did... I think, so that was obviously a natural piece, this was a man-made piece, obviously a screw, and so I also drew a screw, and then the homework from that was to do something from home, so I drew my converse as you can see, so I think that is actually like, yeah, life size, and yeah, this was testing Indian ink with a bamboo reed pen, so here I just kind of made a fish kind of drawing out of newspaper to decorate my book, and I got the inks and the different colours and kind of drip them down to make it look cool. I've obviously written my studies and what I found about um, studying with the ink. And these were the practices that I did with the Indian ink and then this I did, it's Indian ink and then with bleach so it kind of, it creates a really really cool effect. Yeah I did a fish and it looks like it's underwater and I actually really like that. Um, and then I did a shrimp or is that a prawn? I can never remember what it was. I think it's a shrimp or something. More bleach studies. Um, and here, I'll probably just like turn it that way so you can see properly for a sec. That was a reproduction. I can't remember who did the original. And this was the one I did. This is all Indian ink and a complete reproduction of someone else's work. So that wasn't actually my original idea, but I really do like it. Um, and then the homework from that, we had to draw different fruits and things um, around the house. So I obviously did an orange, a pepper, and like kind of split them in half and like showed what they were like inside. And then here I've done a study um, linking back to the fish that I did earlier there. 
I did a artist research uh, a little bit on Pierre Renoir. I basically recreated it with watercolours and then we moved a bit onto portraiture and this is some carbon paper so obviously you trace it and you have to print off a selfie or a photo of yourself and so this was actually taken Tabby took this when she practiced my prom makeup like uh, when I was still at school so I remembered that that was after school and then I traced it but that was from the carbon paper and then the actual one that was there as you can see I cut it out and used it a couple of years later for some of my year 13 work so unfortunately that's not there but you will see that later on in the series and then this was when we went on a trip to the Sainsbury Centre at the University of East Anglia in Norwich and I did some studies of eyes and like faces to uh, build onto the study of portraiture that I was starting there and then I did some experiments with adding water to acrylic um, and showing how to kind of make things darker and the different shades you can get and so I love doing experiments and stuff and you have to do a lot of that in A level so that was an experiment page and then here I've written a bit about something I did oh and that was my cat Maisie um, I actually did a big piece on her there with um, acrylic and things I'm not sure where that went I, I remember I ripped it out and it was on my wall for a while but I have no idea where it is now so if I find it I'll show it you and then I I, act I hate this because I just I just didn't I don't like painting portraits in acrylic it's just no so yeah that was a photo I took of my mum then I had to paint it and it's absolutely awful like that is one of the worst things I have ever done. I can't even show that. Sorry, mum. I just, I'm, no. <laughs> um, and then for this, this was like spatial awareness. And we made out of um, mud rock um, little sculptures. So I remember we had to like walk around our college. And our college is, I think it's only like five or six years old. It's got really cool structure to it. Um, it, it's the whole design is incredible like it's super modern and awesome and so we walked around and like had to draw different bits we had to kind of like compile the studies we've made here and make a structure to show um, that sort of heading on to like architecture and stuff so that was really interesting and then I did some more study on that in different medium chalk based and oil pastel and then I did I, this was really random, I'm not sure why I did this, but I made it into like a climbing frame structure and I drew me, Katie and Molly, my two of my best friends on here. And then I did some study of Mondrian's trees, um, heading on, you know, building on from the lines and the structures of stuff, so abstraction. So that's actually what the tree looks like, that's making it kind of semi-abstract and that's full on abstract, like what the freaking hell is that? <laughs> And then this was just some paper to protect it from smudging. I did some study on Picasso's bulls. And yeah, that's kind of this, uh, the same thing, one of the process to abstraction. So you can still see it's a bull, but it's still, it's kind of like moving on into a different form. And then complete simplicity. And then I, d I have no idea what this is about. Um, <laughs> honestly, I don't really remember doing it but it was obviously part of something. Um, and then I made some like pop out bits here. And this, I ripped out different p uh, pieces of things, like all of this is ripped out pages. And I just like stuck it all in and just made a random ass collage. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why. <laughs> and then uh, s we were kind of doing more on the portraiture side of things and I was quite enjoying that. So I did some, direct observational drawings and obviously we all know who that is freaking Dan from Bastille he's in like literally all of my work um yeah <laughs> but I was like studying the face and different features so smiles eyes different angles um so yeah and then this is a photo of my dad that I took and I had to make like a moving on from the collages that I'd done mixing those with portraiture I made a collage, oh, that is, I just, I can't even show that, it's like the worst thing ever, I just, no, 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 I was so bad at painting back then. Um, okay, I've obviously ripped something out there, 
Oh, I full on ripped all of that out. Oh, there was loads of stuff there. Anyway, I remember at this point we could make it, we could start to make it our own project. And I, I was focusing on animals because obviously I'm obsessed with animals. And I did some studies here. I did an artist research, but obviously that's disappeared. I'm not sure where I've put that. Um, and then I did a cute, it's all smudge night. You can barely see it, but that's my dog, Walter. That was all like chalk and it was really cool, drawing of Walt on black paper. And then more stuff that I've ripped out, which is really handy. A trip to the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge. And I did a study of, this was a colouring pencil study um, of an oil painting that I saw there of kittens. And then they had a really sick um, exhibition on of Ro Ronald Searle his work and he does like this amazing cat drawing and I was like oh my god that's like legendary I've got to copy it so I did and see more stuff that I've ripped out god damn that <laughs> I was moving on to an artist called Gwen John and she focused on tortoiseshell cats because obviously my cat Maisie was a tortoiseshell cat and I did some studies on that and honestly that they're not there are they that's that's just great oh look at that even more that I've ripped out this was from a life drawing class that we did, so when the naked model comes in. I remember taking them out, I had to use them for year 13, so to be fair, that, that's a reasonable excuse. Oh, here's some studies from the Gwen John cats. So these were some studies I did of hers, um, the tortoiseshell cats, that's my own cat Maisie. Those are my studies of her in the same style, so... As you can see, I'm building, I've, I'm showing what I've learnt throughout this whole time and throughout the book and going to the museums. And I'm now building up to make a final piece on Unit 1. So here are my initial ideas for it. And I made a lot of initial ideas because you get heavily marked on these. The, a lot of it doesn't make sense because so much I've ripped out, there's like chunks where it's like I've missed out the process. But I swear at the time it did all make f full sense. <laughs> But you just can't see that now, that I've like torn everything out. But yeah, um, I was doing ideas of how I wanted to present things and what um, I wanted in there. And then that was the final piece that I came up with. It was, uh, well, we had four dogs when I began this book and then halfway through Jenny died. So we, would, we only had three dogs and um, yeah, I, I made my final piece, these three paintings, acrylic paintings of the dogs and I did have photos of them there so you can see component one submission piece one out of three they were there they were stuck in but I've obviously used them for something else and that's my evaluation what went well what didn't go so well and what artists slash techniques did I learn the most from and yeah that's my book my first book and I'm sorry it's a bit crap because to be honest a lot of it's missing, but <laughs> I hope you can um, kind of see where I was going with that. And super quickly, I'll show you my, the final pieces that I did from that. Whoa, okay, so these are like A2, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're definitely A2. So this is the first one, and it is my dog Beano, and it looks so bad, like I always think it looks terrible in photos and things, but I'm actually quite proud of it, like in real life it looks a lot better, but yeah, um, that's sort of, it. it's also the light, the light doesn't like do it any justice, so, this is my dog Beano, my black Labrador, oh, I've also got this one of my dog Humphrey, and yeah these were all done in acrylic paint on a2 wooden boards and actually i'm so proud of that like i'm being really proud of this one this one was my favorite one so yeah that's humphrey i did one also of walter so that's his i remember his leg went all wrong because he he was actually with me when i was painting it because i painted some of it at home and he made the leg go all wrong because he was pestering me. So ironically, he kind of ruined his own painting, but oh well. Still kind of happy with the outcome of this one. But yeah, those are my three final pieces. That kind of 
concluded my unit one and I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and seeing my work and the beginning of my um, new artwork series. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It's been weird like doing a sit down and talking video because I haven't really done one in a long time it feels. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you for looking through my artwork with me and yeah I'll see you in next week's video. Bye! Have a great week!